Hi friends, welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to sketch this pillow block bearing. We will we will uh, making uh, separately making both the parts, this inside bearing and this outer block. So let's see how to make in SolidWorks. We sketch the first part of pillow block bearing block. So let's start. Select a plane and here we want to create a plane. So first select plane and draw one plane 1.625 inch flip side downward direction. OK. Now select this plane a sketch normal and choose center rectangle. Six point three seven five inch and the height one point seven five inch. Okay, now choose fillet zero point one two five inch and select the whole geometry. See okay. Now select extruded boss and extrude up to Point five inch. Okay. Now just hide the plane. Uh, we want to assign some color to our geometry so it will be easily identified. It should be little. Okay, this is better. Okay. Now let's move for further operation. Now select back face. Back face, a sketch, choose normal. Now choose center rectangle and draw up to rectangle up to here and now assign the distance. Two point one two five both direction. Okay, now select this face and click convert entities. Now it is converted. Now we will go to extrude. Select this face and this face and extrude up to 0 0.125 inch only. Okay. Now choose draft. Keep degree 30 first face this one and the second face select this and inside keep 30 degree ok now see the body color little more dark uh, better to little make less so it will be easily Okay. Now choose front plane. Front plane is sketch normal. Draw a center line. Select a line and start to draw from. exit select these three lines and make relation symmetric ok now choose center line and 
and draw a circle up to this point exit choose stream entity and delete this circle and this little outer line now assign the distance first meet this circle with this line okay now the distance from here to bottom 3.25 inch and the radius 1.625 inch okay now select extruded boss keep mid plane and 1.625 inch okay our geometry is still too dark actually we want little less okay now that's it now select this face sketch normal draw a center line select this line make vert horizontal again draw one vertical line select circle and draw a circle just assign the diameter 0.625 inch okay now select this outer line and this circle and make relation tangent okay now select a line uh this diameter make two times into 2 uh that's it now choose the line connect from here to this point now exit choose stream entity and trim this inside half circle okay now select this all lines mirror entity mirror entity select this line this line and mirror about this line okay now select extruded boss now select this face and this face and extrude up to very small 0.125 inch only okay now select again select this face sketch normal and here we will draw a center line first a vertical line then the same horizontal line now select here straight slot and draw a slot now just assign the dimension Zero point two five inch, and the distance from here to outer line six eighty eight inch, and keep the radius three one two five inch. That's it. now select this all circle choose mirror mirror now select this all circle mirror about this line okay now select extruded cut 
we want to cut through all okay now you can see through all cut now select this face sketch normal and here we will draw a circle and keep the diameter 2.75 inch and select extrude cut sorry and extrude cut up to inside 0.7 inch okay now choose draft keep degree Ten. Select this first face and this round face two. Okay. Now it is quite this face better. You can change so you will identify. Okay. This cutout face is also better to change. for identification okay now we forget to do one more thing select draft select this as a just cancel it and just okay now we want to create one draft here just uh, go back four step behind choose draft select this face and face to select both the directions and here degree keep 6 little not more okay that's it now you can come back now you can see a tapered here now let's go for our next stop now just go back select this face sketch we will not this feature mirror we want to do some modification so select circle and draw the same diameter circle 2.575 inch and extrude up to extrude cut up to 0.5 inch inside okay the same as choose draft Ten degree. This face and this face. Okay. It is ten degree draft. Now select this face sketch normal, and here we want to some uh, something. Draw a, one vertical and a horizontal line. Make sure it is horizontal. draw a circle from this line and connect it up to this point make sure it should be connected here choose a line connect from here to this point exit choose trim entity and trim this outer line now assign the radius keep the radius 3 mm that's it choose mirror entity and mirror this this things opposite direction okay now here we will extrude cut and select through all okay now this portion little cut it okay now select midpoint 
स्केच नॉर्मल और एग्जिट सेलेक्ट दिस फेस स्केच दिस इज ऑल्सो टेपर नो बेटर सेलेक्ट दिस मिड इट इज वर्टिकल एक्चुअली स्केच ड्रॉ ए सर्कल एंड कीप द डायमीटर टू पॉइंट थ्री थ्री फाइव इंच ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट एक्सक्लूडेड कट एंड चूज हेयर थ्रू ऑल ओके नाउ सी द होल क्रिएटेड नाउ सेलेक्ट राइट प्लेन स्केच चूज टू डी लाइन एक्शन एंड हियर सेलेक्ट थ्री पॉइंट आर्क कनेक्ट फ्रॉम वन एंड टू दिस एंड अपसाइड असाइन द रेडियस वन इंच एंड ड्रॉ ए लाइन एंड कनेक्ट अप टू दिस एंड ओके ड्रो ए वन सेंटर लाइन ऑरिजोनटल सेंटर लाइन ओके नाउ जस्ट सेलेक्ट रिवॉल्व कट सी दिस पोर्शन वी वॉन्ट टू कट इट ओके सेलेक्ट दिस पोर्शन एंड असाइन सम कलर टू आइडेंटिफाई दिस portion i think no need to identify here keep 0 128 and the inside 192 the same color okay now select this face sketch normal select center line and draw a वर्टिकल एंड ए हॉरिजोंटल सेंटर लाइन नाउ लेट्स डू वन थिंग सेलेक्ट दिस इन साइड रेडियस लाइन एंड दिस सर्कल ऑल्सो एंड बोथ कन्वर्ट एंटिटीज चूज लाइन इट एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट विजिबल प्रॉपरली ओके ड्रॉ ए लाइन एंड कनेक्ट अप टू दिस पॉइंट and assign the gap between these two 0.5 inch choose mirror select this line and mirror about this line now it is mirrored here okay choose trim entity and trim outer circles now this the only balance now select mirror and select this created lines and mirror about this line okay now this portion both side we will extrude cut point 375 inch okay now we will make some draft here choose draft select this face and here select this face and this face but make the degree is small 6 degree okay now little draft we created choose fillet 0.625 mm and select first this bottom line Select zero point. That's it. Select this circle and select this inside line. This side and the go to next side. The here also same. Select here inside. 
Okay. Now again choose fillet. Zero point zero one two five inch. Now select these faces. Actually, this is the sharp edges. Okay. Now the block body almost going to ready. Now choose fillet. Zero point six two five. Select this end and this end. If possible, select bottom edge. Okay, nice. And select this edge also and the last edge. Okay. Now these all are the same. Now choose you want to create some axis, so select axis. Select this face. Okay. This axis we want to create. and select we want to create one more axis choose front plane and right plane select axis this vertical axis we want to create okay now we will sketch a plane so first select top plane and press control and select axis now choose plane now here we want to create a plane so just select degree keep 45 degree flip side that's it okay now just drag this plane click on this plane sketch normal Select center line. Exit. Now here we want to create our geometry. So choose a line first. And start to draw our geometry. Draw from here. upward then little here little inside should be more than uh, come here then connect it to this point exit from the line Now let's assign the distance. First assign the distance from here to this line 1.53 inch. That's it. Now this length 125 inch. Okay. <coughs> Now the distance from here to this line 0 0.1 inch. This length 0 0.05 inch. And the distance from here to this outer line 0 0.18 inch. Okay just take inside these lines mm -hmm. 
now assign the distance between these two points 0. Point One two five inch. Then distance between these two points zero point eight. Zero point zero eight, not eight. <coughs> this line take it down this line now assign this distance uh, this length I think quite bigger Zero point zero two five inch. That's it. And now assign this length zero point zero three seven five. And this height keep zero point zero two five mm and select this point and this point in same position now assign the distance between these two points zero point zero five inch okay now this distance length zero point zero eight inch okay Now this is the our exact dimensions. So let's uh, revolve it. Select OK. Choose revolve boss base and select this line as a axis. OK. and select this line and assign the color yellow to easy identify just hide the plane this is greasing point now select this face a sketch normal draw a hexagon up to this point ok now select extrude cut but choose flip direction and here choose up to surface and select this bottom face ok now see it is cut it here side color also yellow that's it now this is the greasing point that's it now here we want to make one screw or one ball so it looks like a real 
so select the same plane a sketch normal now choose center line assign the gap between the center lines zero point zero two five inch select circle and draw a circle from this point and keep the diameter zero point zero seven five inch that's it okay choose stream entities connect from here to this point now choose revolve boss base select this line as a revolve boss base okay now this point created choose yellow uh, this color quite better okay so now our pillow block bearing block is ready see this is the block for pillow block see i hope you enjoyed first save it in desktop create a new folder pillow block bearing now name this part block now next part we will create bearing for inside portion now we will sketch the second part bearing for pillow block bearing so let's start choose right plane sketch select center line and draw a horizontal and a vertical center line choose center rectangle and draw a rectangle now here we will assign some dimension zero seven five and the distance from here zero point three seven five and the distance from top line zero point we want to keep some clearance so that's why we want to take this length keep remember 11951905 here select 1 1.1195905 that's it now just drag up draw a circle here assign the distance between this lines and this point 0.3 0.051 and the diameter of this zero point one five into two zero point 
जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री दिस डायमीटर लुकिंग क्वाइट बिगर सो जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव इंच दिस इज क्वाइट बेटर Now select three point arc. Connect this end to this end. Okay. Now select radius zero point seven five inch. Select okay. Now select this inside line. Construction geometry. Choose trim entity. Delete this outer line. This inner line. ओके दिस पोर्शन वी वॉन्ट एग्जैक्टली नाउ चूज रिवॉल्व बॉस बेस सेलेक्ट दिस लाइन एज ए एक्सिस ओके नाउ द बॉडी इज क्रिएटेड नाउ अगेन चूज राइट प्लेन स्केच नॉर्मल हेयर चूज टू डी लाइन फर्स्ट ड्रॉ एस सेंटर लाइन Select circle and draw a circle with reference to this point. Take quite bigger than this. Now assign the distance. So assign the gap between these two circles. One five six three zero point zero one five six three inch. Okay. Select a line. Choose trim entity and trim this outer line. Okay. Now you can. Now here we want to revolve a boss base. Select this line as a axis. Three sixty degree. Okay. And assign this ball a color. blue color okay now just choose circular pattern select this ball and we want choose any surface any line we want 17 number of balls see the 17 number of balls are created we kept a ball bigger than something missing edit uh, here the degree is not 360 keep 360 degree then okay now the balls are perfect now let's move for next portion now first we want to create one axis choose axis select this face or uh, clear we will select top and right clear select both the points top plane right plane now choose axis now this axis created okay now we want to create this axis for uh, some circular we need it in future now again choose right plane sketch normal and uh, just draw a line horizontal line vertical line sorry select corner rectangle and draw a rectangle now assign the distance between this center point to this 
zero point six two five inch. The height zero point two five inch, and this distance from this line also zero point two five inch, and the distance from this line zero point five inch. Select OK. Now choose revolve the boss base and select this axis as a revolve. Okay. Now you see the body almost prepared. Choose chamfer. Zero point zero six two five. Select this inside surface. Okay. Now again choose chamfer. Zero point zero three one two five. Select this outer line. Select OK. Now see. Now hide this axis. Now select this face. Sketch normal, and select this outer surface line, circle, and click convert entities. Select circle and draw a circle from origin point. Now keep the gap between these two circles. Zero point zero three one five six three. That's it. This much gap we want. Okay, select extruded boss. We want only zero point zero three one two five reverse direction inside. Okay, and assign this uh, part a particular color. Okay. Now select this face. Sketch normal. Again, this inside line. Convert entities. Now draw a circle. Just little beyond that. Now assign the gap. Zero point zero one seven. Select extruded boss. See it comes out. Zero point zero two five. Okay. And this color also. Let us assign the same color. Now we want to mirror this. So choose front plane. Uh, better assign some fillet. Okay. Now we will mirror this feature. Choose front plane. Mirror. And select the last all part fillet extrude one and two. Okay. Now you can see. So this is the our bearing. Just save it. Bearing. That's it. Now we will. Assemble this bearing and block. Now we are going to start the assembly of pillow block bearing. So let's start. Choose block. Okay. Assembly. Okay. Now here we will browse the both the parts. Browse. First select block because it it should be fixed. 
okay now insert bearing okay now we will first match both the axis uh, both the planes so choose uh, one thing front plane of block then select part 2 front plane of press control t and front plane of both the bearings and select mat see it is coincident select ok now both the points in one axis now we created some axis in both the play, uh, parts so search those axis okay this is the one axis of block just go down okay this is the axis we selected okay now our block bearing pillow block bearing is ready you can see you can rotate see it is rotating their axis so this is the easy and widely used bearing in the world in many places we are using this bearing only i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe our channel for more projects in solidworks thanks for watching